Hi everybody, welcome back to the Master Flow Plumbing YouTube channel. Before we begin today's video, I'm going to ask you to go ahead and click that subscribe button in the lower right hand corner. And if you don't do it, the fleas of a thousand camels are going to infest your armpits. Alright, so previously we did a video um, on how to install an insincorator garbage disposal. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how to choose the right garbage disposal for your needs. A lot of people I find have a tendency to want to overspend and overbuy garbage disposals and they buy something that they don't need. I usually recommend going with a you know just kind of like middle of the road disposal. No matter what you buy and how much you spend and how much power it has you're always going to be limited by one thing. You're going to be limited by how well the drain in your house works. Uh, most kitchens are going to be two inch on the drain line, which is actually, you know, here in Michigan, that's code. Got two inch on the drain. There are a lot of older homes out there that have inch and a half and even inch and a quarter drains that serve their kitchen sink. So with that said, um, you know, the more power you have does not necessarily mean the more stuff you can put down that garbage disposal. You're going to be limited by your drain setup in your house. I always tell my customers the rule of thumb is never more than a handful at a time down the disposal and run plenty of water when you do it. Now, having a bigger, more powerful garbage disposal, I'm not going to give you any different advice on them. I'm still going to tell you a handful at a time and, and run plenty of water afterwards. What happens is people have a tendency to actually want to take and dump out like an entire pot full of pasta down the drain. Uh, and despite what people have been told over the years, garbage disposals don't really cut, they grind. Uh, so when you, when you throw large amounts of stuff down into it and they can't grind it all fast enough, what happens is it forces it down the drain, you know, out this little this elbow right here. Sometimes there's just a straight pipe coming out of it, but that's where your drain comes out. This is where your dishwasher connects up to it, um, by the way. And uh, so, yeah, you can see this is nowhere near a two inch pipe. This is actually an inch and a half tubular elbow that comes off of here. So the inside diameter of it is actually is that small. So having a bigger, more powerful garbage disposal is not going to really help you. The, the 33 years I've been doing this, this, this line of work, being a plumber, I have come to the conclusion that there is no other brand other than this right here called Insincorator brand. There are other companies out there that make them, but they should probably not. Uh, these are, in my opinion, the only option people really have uh, is this brand. Uh, there are companies, like I said, that make them. I've seen at Costco, I've seen uh, Moen actually offers a disposal. I don't know who makes it for them. I almost guarantee you that Moen does not make it. Uh, I believe I've even seen even a Delta garbage disposal over the years. I've seen another brand called Whirl Away. Uh, and they are all, in my opinion, garbage compared to the Insincorator brand. Um, now, with that said, I wish I was being paid by Insincorator to tell you that, but I am not. Um, we have not reached quite that level with our channel here yet, but um, it would be great if Insincorator wants to pay me to endorse them. That's great, but you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. Because as a, as a plumbing contractor, that's the, the brand that I've figured out has works the best. So what we have here are three different ones. Okay, This is actually called the Badger 500. This is not the lowest level disposal. The Badger 1 would be. Uh, this is the Badger 5, and uh, this Badger 5 right here, uh, from the plumbing supplier that I deal with, it has a retail price of about $150. Okay, This disposal is virtually the exact same thing as this one right here, which is called the Badger 500. So you see the similarity there? You got Badger 5, you got Badger 500. Okay, so the common denominator is that 5 there, the exact same disposal, folks. Um, this one comes from Home Depot, it's about $120 to $130. This one comes from the plumbing supplier, it's about $150. It comes off my truck, it's going to be more like about $180. Uh, not counting installation, that's just to buy it. Um, and then over here we have the contractor grade Insincorator 333 model. Um, now, Insincorator used to offer a Pro Series uh, you know, grade that they used to do. And apparently, you know, I mean, cost-wise or whatever, it just wasn't uh, cost-effective for the company to continue doing it. But they were great disposals. They made one called the Pro SS. And they had stainless steel inner workings on it. It was, you know, 20 years ago, that was a $200 disposal to buy. Uh, nowadays, I would imagine it'd probably be in the $300 range if they still made it. Uh, they did continue to, they also had the Pro 333. Okay, so this is what's left of that Pro series. They, they 
they continue on with the 333 model. This disposal has three quarter horsepower. It has a seven year warranty on it. Um, this is actually a really nice unit. Uh, you know, if you want to spend the money on it, but the cost on this one around $240 to $250 just to buy it. Uh, so by the time you get it off my truck and get it in your house, you're going to be spending about $300 for this unit plus installation. Uh, do you need that one? No. You don't have to have that one. Either of these two will be just fine in most cases. Uh, this one will offer probably a, a slight quieter operation versus the other ones. Uh, but again, keep in mind, they're down inside the cabinet. They all about sound the same from the outside. Uh, they, you know, when you spend more money on them, you're supposed to get a quieter unit. You're supposed to get more power. You're supposed to get a longer warranty. Um, you know, that's all great. What I find with these longer warranties is that really you're just kind of paying for it up front. Uh, in case you have to replace it, you're paying for the next one, basically, or at least part of it. Uh, garbage disposals rarely get warrantied. Uh, being a plumber, a busy plumber, I mean, I do you know six to eight service calls a day, and uh, I can tell you I do not warranty very many garbage disposals because nine times out of ten, there's a reason why they fail, and it's usually because of misuse. And so therefore, warranties are often voided. So try not to get too hung up on the warranties. Um, you know, these guys come with a one-year warranty on them. Oh, I'm sorry, this one's a three-year warranty. I believe the ones from Home Depot and Lowe's, uh, the, this Badger 500, I believe they're only one year. So there's your price difference between this one from there and this one there and the different model number. Um, but being the exact same unit. I've had customers over the years do some pretty, pretty silly things. Uh, I can tell you the busiest day of the year for a lot of plumbers that you know do drain cleaning um, is the day after Thanksgiving or on Thanksgiving Day and that's because of so much stuff you know that gets you know pushed down the disposal. Potato peels, things of that nature, never a great idea because um, they're just too thin. They get forced down this drain pipe right here and into your drain in your house hole and then until they plug something up. So don't necessarily want to, uh, you know, put peels and things like that down there. Uh, so interesting, there's a chart on the back of this right here, on the back of this box right here that talks about, you know, the different power levels. You know, you, know, you got a third horse to a half horse and uh, so on, you know, in the, in the power series and the quiet series. Um, and again, you know, here's your warranty differences on them. And then they talk about the food, you know, so like the, the, the standard ones like these, you can do everyday food scraps. And then the next one up, you're supposed to be able to do tough food scraps like peach pits and stuff like that. I can't imagine why anybody wants to throw something like that down there and listen to it grind around in there. But, And then the other one, you're supposed to be able to do tougher food scraps like bones and fibrous fruits and vegetables. So like that, like you know, whole bananas and things like that. But again, I would caution you, why do you need that? Because you're just going to plug up your drain with it. Uh, a lot of times if you have underneath your sink, you have two, two bowls on your sink connected you'll have a straight pipe coming out of here going over and dropping in what's called a baffle tee and then it drops down into a trap. Well at that baffle tee this little tiny inch and a half opening that's in here gets reduced down to maybe about an inch and uh, it's very very easily plugged up. So if you're gonna buy a bigger disposal because you think that you can just put all kinds of stuff down through there you know you think you're gonna get rid of all the branches off your Christmas tree or whatever yeah you're gonna plug up your drain and if that's the only reason you're gonna buy a bigger more powerful one then then you're wasting your money uh, you'll probably be just fine with one of these guys like this uh, other than that um, there's not a ton other to talk about on these they do often not come with a cord uh, all three of these units, none of these came with a cord on them. Uh, so a guy like me, I take your old one and I take the bottom off of it right here. There's usually a plate over that and I will, you know, wire up your old cord to it or I have them on the truck. And Syncorator does offer a disposal at Home Depot and I believe at Lowe's too that does come with a cord. I don't know which model that would be. If you're going to attempt to install one of these by yourself and we do have another video for that if you need help with that. Uh, you know just visit our channel and, and look for that video. I believe I will show in that video even how to wire up that cord if you need to do it yourself. Um, if you don't feel comfortable doing that then you can search around for one of these units that come with the cord already installed. They don't always have them. I don't know about where you live at, but where I live at, you know, these big box stores, they don't always have those units like that. So most of the time they do not come with a cord on them. All Insincorator brand disposals are going to have the spot underneath here 
if you look down dead center on here there's a spot where the actual wrench goes in there to where if you have one of these get jammed up on you you can actually try to use the wrench and manually spin it by hand they also have this little red reset button down here when they get jammed sometimes they'll pop that reset button right there so the first thing you want to do is free them up then push the reset button again and then throw the switch and run some water and make sure that everything's working right so in a nutshell I guess that's what you know I feel like most people should actually consider when they're going to buy a garbage disposal and what they want. Uh, it's never a bad idea to go by your plumber's recommendations unless they are just trying to sell you the most expensive unit that's out there. And uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I think you probably can tell by the way I've done this video, I don't agree with that. Um, I think that you know, save your money and use it for something else plumbing related. And these guys right here do just as good as this guy does in the long run. You know, so that's basically it. You folks enjoy yourselves and have a great day.